As you know, I'm not a huge fan of game streaming, but now that GeForce Now actually supports Blizzard Net games such as Call of Duty, Overwatch, and Diablo, I thought it might be time to get this thing set up and working and give you a tutorial on how to do it. Let's take a look. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start off by going to the console, which is located under system. And we're gonna install Microsoft Edge from the command line. You're learning a little something new today. Flat pack, install Edge. And it's gonna say, it found some matches. You're gonna select two for user. And then we're looking for number one here, which is uh, Edge stable. It'll go ahead and it's going to tell you what it's got to update to make that happen. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, now that the install is complete, you're going to need the line inside the video description. I would cut and paste this and try not to type it if you can get away with it. We're going to do this flat pack user override. Copy it. And uh, don't hit Control V in here. Use the paste button. It'll paste it in and hit enter. You won't see anything. It'll just come back as a prompt. This is going to allow Edge access to the uh, control system on the Steam Deck. All right, we're done with the scary part. So now we should have Microsoft Edge installed. If we look at under all applications here and we have Microsoft Edge, we're going to right click that and add to Steam. This will take a moment. And we're done. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Steam, go to library, find Microsoft Edge. There it is. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the gear and go to properties. We're gonna change this up a little bit. We're gonna make this GeForce now. So now we're going to go back to the video description, grab this long line of parameters. We're gonna copy that to the clipboard. And then at the end, at the end, don't replace these launcher options, but you can use the end uh, button on your keyboard or just scroll over. Just make sure you're in the field and add a space and paste it in. Now you can make sure that everything lines up right. Double check your work, of course. Slide on over here and make sure that we have a space in here. Otherwise it will break. No, that looks good. We have a space. Everything looks good. We renamed it. We've added the parameters. We are actually almost good to go. Go to the controller options and you can use a gamepad with joystick trackpad um, or you could use a mouse trackpad depending on your particular needs and desires. I'm going to go ahead and use the joystick trackpad as a default. I am going to turn on the back grip buttons, which by the way, do work. And I'm going to assign them to the things that I assign for everything because I'm not playing Call of Duty having to use the bumpers or the uh, click sticks for that. It's ridiculous. Terrible, terrible concept for, in designs for controls. So I'm going to override that so I can use my back buttons. And we are in good shape. Now, I'm going to go ahead and flip on over to gaming mode. I think that's the way most people are going to want to play this. So we'll do it from there. All right, now we're back on the deck itself. I'm reaching around my microphone here. Go to your non-Steam tab, and you should see a GeForce Now. Yes, perfect. We're going to go in here, and uh, we're going to run it. See how we did. Okay, now, <clears throat> it's very possible that you're going to have to log in, right? So you're going to have to log in to GeForce Now. I've already done it for the sake of this video. But understand, you may need a mouse and a keyboard or be very flexible with your Steam Deck in order to get yourself logged in so that you can go ahead and play the game. Now, you can um, use uh, Steam in the trackpad, of course, to get around. I'm just going to launch Call of Duty to prove that everything works well. I'm going back to my mouse so I don't have to reach around. And uh, I've got it on Steam. So we're going to go ahead and hit play. And of course, this all depends on your GeForce Now tier. Do you have to wait? For a rig, are you front of the line privileges? Are you using, you know, do you have the supreme version of GeForce now? Uh, I have the Founders Edition. I'm going to go ahead and allow these things. And I just want to make sure that it comes up and it works and the controls work. I'm sure that's all you really care about too. 
You might have already quit this video. Thank you for sticking around. Go ahead and let this thing run so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, on the Founders Edition, my machine is a... Yeah, it's because I crashed it last time. No. All right. By the way, any sort of weird stuttering or anything that you see as part of this Call of Duty demo is... Um, it happens on a high-end PC too. So this isn't, don't don't be surprised that you see what's like, how, how can this be? The performance looks terrible. Well, performance isn't terrible. It's just pieces of the game are. I've already gone through, see like this hanging right here? This is normal. This happens on my PC too, my, my gaming PC. When you, it's all this online, it's all this connecting to the online services and everything. It's absolutely ridiculous. But you can see it's definitely working. And of course, and I don't own Call of Duty 3, so I actually have to go down and launch the version I do own, which is Modern Warfare. And of course, when you do that, it has to exit the game and relaunch again. It's ridiculous that you have to go through their essentially storefront in order to play a game that you already own. So dumb. Now, you're not going to get away without shaders. If you take a look in the upper left-hand corner, there are still shaders to be had, even in real PC games. This is one of those things. Yes, please. You don't have to reset everything. Um, yeah, shaders are a fact of life, and the fact that the Steam Deck preloads them for you is great. Notice here, they have to be built. And while they're being built, you will see performance issues, which is exactly why we don't we tell you not to delete shaders or move them to some slow storage mechanism because, yeah, that's what they're here for is to speed up and improve your game. You offload them to some slow ass micro SD card, then this is the sort of thing that happens. But again, I, I'd like to point out that just because you're streaming it off some powerful workstation in the cloud doesn't make it appear to be any faster to get through all this nonsense. You still have to deal with shader compilations and all that other stuff. So I'm just going to move over to shipment 24-7 here. Something that's pretty easy to get into because there's tons of people playing it. But as you can see, the shader optimizations are happening. And you may experience uh, issues in the meantime, right? And that's what shaders will tell you when they, if you, I were to avoid them, they would tell me that, uh, that it might impact my game. As you can see how it's hanging. This isn't the fault of the streaming service, right? This isn't GeForce's Now's fault. This is the game. This is how the game plays on my PC too. It sits here and hangs while it's doing background crap. In some cases, it's the shaders that are doing it. But I just want to hop into a match and show you that it does indeed work. Now, if you don't want the game complaining that it didn't get shut down properly the last time, make sure you exit the games properly using whatever it is, quit to desktop, exit to desktop, or similar. As you can see, it definitely looks a lot better than the Steam Deck would be displaying it, even if you had Windows on your Steam Deck. It does look pretty good. And if you're paying for it, you get the ray tracing and all that stuff. My Founders Edition doesn't have all the bells and whistles, so it's uh, basically like a mid-tier PC instead of a high-end PC. Well, I can see this time of the morning, it's probably uh, not going to find enough people to maybe make a match, but we'll give it another moment here. But that's really all there is to it, uh, to getting GeForce Now working. It's pretty simple. I will warn you with peace and love, peace and love, that... This has been a problem in the past. Uh, sometimes this will stop working. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast until there's some sort of official support on Steam Deck for GeForce Now. This is the sort of thing we're going to have to deal with when using a browser-based solution. And I'm just going to walk around a little bit. Again, we're, we're seeing extraordinary performance issues due to no shader caches because I aborted them so we could load the game. As you can see, as the game starts to get its shaders built, it'll start smoothing up a little bit as we start to see all the same elements. But yeah, I mean, 
Like I said, once their shaders are built, this will be fine. But it does work. I mean, this is the nature of the beast, and unfortunately, this is just the way that it is. You can see now we're going over some of the same areas that we've already been on. And, well, actually, they spawned me at the other side of the map, so now I've got other crap to build. But you can see things start to move along after the shaders are compiled. All right, listen, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.